I'm really glad that Mattel has stepped up. I'm glad that they're doing this. I'm glad that they're, you know, opening their doll designing minds to this. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle and I have a new fashionista to review with you guys. Um, I already took her out of the package because I feel like we've seen this packaging a million times, but I will still show it to you guys. It is number 90 and she's from the newest wave. Of fashionista dolls that have come out. Now we did see a preview of her in, uh, or excuse me, at Toy Fair, and she's where is she back here? Oh, number ninety, and she's right next to another special one, which is ninety one. Now these two are the lightest and the darkest skin tones that have come out for, I, I want to say probably the Mattel line in general, um, definitely for the fashionistas, but. Mark, I mean, comment below if I'm wrong here. I'm pretty sure it is the lightest and the darkest skin tone for Mattel in general. I didn't research that until beforehand. <laughs> Should do my homework. I, I cannot talk today. I'm pretty sure it's the darkest and lightest for Mattel, but definitely at least for the Fashionista line. Um, going right into the doll, she has some really great points to her. Uh, starting from head to toe, her hair is beautiful, soft, and honestly, rooted pretty good as far as fashionista dolls go. Because sometimes I'll get a fashionista and I'm like, all right, she needs a little like some, either like some clip-ins or something. She does it. Her hair is actually really, really nice. They did a good job in that. I love that. Now, for her face, stunning. Reminds me of, and I cannot think of her name, who's a model, not a mon. Oh, that's another model that has a very striking face that reminds me of her. If you guys remember or know who I'm talking about, comment below. She has this beautiful pink, kind of almost mauve lipstick, which I like as it pops against her. Uh, she does have, which I don't know if the camera's picking it up here, the lighting isn't right. She has a very thin, very beautiful navy blue eyeshadow, which again, the camera isn't picking up, but she has, and it's gorgeous in person. It really makes her eyes pop. And her dress is beautiful. I, I actually really like this dress. It's so simple. It's just an oversized like t-shirt dress, but it's this beautiful metallic color and it's a rainbow print and it's just so cute. And it really, again, pops on her skin tone because she's just this beautiful rich. I mean, like her color is just so nice. And I'm so glad they're doing something different like this. Uh, fashion Aces in general, I've always been a fan of because they are representing so many skin tones and hair colors and body shapes. Like they're doing so much more with that. And that's great because growing up, I remember going, oh my gosh, I like the Teresa doll because she was the only Latina doll. And I obviously am Latina. So <laughs> coming from the background, and obviously I didn't have red hair. So back then I kind of looked more like her. I mean, I did look like her, but if I had a pick between Barbie, Midge, Christy, Teresa, like I, I looked more like her. So I can just imagine now kids are getting like, especially doll collectors are just looking at these going, wow, she looks like me. Whether you're a dark skin tone, a light skin tone, medium skin tone, olive skin tone, you know, anything. Like it just looks so good. I'm really glad that Mattel has stepped up. I'm glad that they're doing this. I'm glad that they're, you know, opening their doll designing minds to this. I mean, I'm kind of surprised it's taken so long, <laughs> to be honest with you, that they haven't been doing this. Like, I feel like the Fashion Aces was a great idea. It is a great idea. And I'm glad they're finally now doing even more with it. Would I like to see a made to move Fashionista line? Like an actual line line? Yes. <laughs> would I think they would sell? Yes. If not, at least my friends and I would definitely buy them. Uh, I would love to see her as a made to move doll. I think that is just, ugh, like just it would be too, so much. <laughs> And here, I'll show you guys the shoes really quick, even though they're not too special. They're just white tennis shoes we've seen before. But I wanted to give you guys a little, like, look at that. Uh, I, like I said, I can't get over how much I am so proud of Mattel for doing this. And I'm definitely gonna get number 91. Uh, they aren't named, which sometimes I've noticed they'll have, like, Sunflower Barbie doll or Sunflower Picnic something or whatever. They'll all have, like, a name or something. This one, I didn't see it. <laughs> I think when I ordered her on Amazon, which, she was on Amazon like three days ago, two, three days ago, uh, which is when I bought her uh, for $10. Great deal. Will they still have her? I don't know. Cause I know they sold out like a month or so ago and I missed it and I was so mad <laughs> that I missed it, but I was able to get her. So check Amazon. If not, I'm, I'm sure she'll be in store soon. I know like Amazon tends to kind of get the fashion pieces maybe a little bit sooner than the stores would, but I definitely, like I said, recommend this doll. It is so pretty, it is so stunning, and 
I'm just a stickler for the Fashionista dolls in general because I think they're just so pretty. So comment below, what do you guys think of her? And all of the other new ones that are coming out, there are a bunch that I'm actually really interested in besides getting number 91. I also wanna get 97 and 87 uh, just because they're so cute. Uh, let me show you guys. 87 is the rock and roll one that has the rock and roll t-shirt. And where is she? 97 has this really cute kitty cat dress with cat ears. Like that is so cute. I love Love it and then this one I, I'm kind of a fan of too has the side or kind of like undercut with pink hair and like a denim blue dress like I love that haircut so I'm all about it I'm all about this doll I'm just so glad they're doing dolls that more people nowadays nowadays because you know I'm like 100 years old but like <laughs> people nowadays can connect with <laughs> <laughs> because you know like I said growing up I didn't have as many dolls like that so I think this is just a great great line and I'm glad that they're representing more skin tones out there because we all have different shades and I'm glad that they're noticing that <laughs> thanks for watching you guys bye comment yay <laughs> and hit the notification button because sometimes people don't see my videos so hit the notification button maybe you'll see it more but I, I'm trying to post more I promise <laughs>